Hello again. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the security settings within Easy Builder Pro. So let's get started. What I want to go ahead and do is uh, create a project. Uh, for this purpose I want to use a series that has uh, both the general and both general and enhanced security and I think the uh, MT IE series has that. So uh, if you look under the security tab, you'll see there are two modes that we could use, either general mode. In this mode, basically, uh, you can use a uh, numeric password. And the uh, actual users are just numbered. So you have um, security levels 1 through 12 or users 1 two through 12 and it is a simple numeric um, a simple numeric password format uh, you can see the range here now now under enhanced security you can actually define a username and a uh, and an alpha numeric password if you wish I wouldn't suggest using that password. Uh, now over here you can define the different security classes that you want the user to have access to. Now these are, are developer defined classes basically uh, and the reason we split it up into class A through L is so there's a wide range of security levels that you can assign for each user. So I'm going to say that that uh, Vince is a uh, more of a master user, an admin type user, so I'm going to check every class so that Vince can uh, log into any class security that he wants. And then over here uh, we're going to assign this to Bob and uh, his password is going to be password2 and uh, he's only going to have um, he's only going to have uh, class A, B, and C available to him All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, and hold up right there. I'm going to add another page here. Bear with me. All right, so um, we can password protect anything. If uh, we want to password protect a whole page, let's say uh, window 11 here, if I want to password protect that whole window, then um, I would use the security settings on the function key. So this is a full window change function key. Um, it's going to navigate to window 11. Uh, so under the security tab, I'm going to make this uh, to level D. Now if you remember when we set up our security settings, this will make this page available to Vince, but not Bob. Um, we can make the actual object invisible if it's protected. Uh, we can display a warning message if access is denied. Or we can disable it uh, permanently after the initial activation. Okay, so I'm just going to make it do a warning message. And... Right there. All right. Now um, we can also password protect individual items. So I'm just going to make a little toggle switch here looking at LB0. And um, 
I'm going to set it at a security level of A and uh, that way this is available to uh, both Vince and Bob. Um, now we've got a couple of uh, pre-made uh, windows in our uh, in our template. Uh, we've got a pre-made login and out window and uh, in enhanced security it's got a uh, a drop down list that is um, that is uh, addressed to the user accounts and um, so the system will automatically propagate the uh, this list with all the uh, predefined users uh, unless we have a secret user and I'll go a little further into that here in a minute um, we've got a pre-made add account page so you can add an account uh, we've got a delete account page already made so you could uh, delete an account you can set the privileges or the security level for users or you can actually set the password so we've got these uh, these uh, pages pre-made and uh, because this is such a small screen they broke the privileges up into two screens so they've got a little pop-up to get to the rest of the privileges uh, because here they only have uh, have a few showing so uh, anyway that's how all that works now uh, if you were to have a secret user uh, that's this one here uh, if you have this checked admin will not show up in the drop down list for the users uh, you will have to create a ASCII input object uh, somewhere uh, addressed to um, uh, to the to this systems tag uh, in order to enter in this user's name so just a little tip there on the secret user so uh, let's go ahead and do a real quick little uh, simulation here and test out our uh, security Now you can see I have access to these other buttons and uh, that's about it. It is as simple as that. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our short videos.